Alright, we're back. Monster so we got a guest today, man. What'd you say? So now we got a guest today. Of course we got. Of course we got a guest today. We always got a guest, man. Yeah, we don't. Not always. We don't want to. We don't want to. You know what I'm saying? If one day we don't got no guests, we can't. We can't. <laughs> 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 we want to misrepresent ourselves to people right now. But we got a guest today. It's a dope one. It's, it's, I, I, I've had, I've actually had the pleasure of working with him recently. Um, it's my man. Um, he's from, he's from, he's from my area where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? Like my, oh. my, my secondary home. A Z. Yeah, A Z. You know what I'm saying? Um, Phoenix though. You know what I mean? I believe it's Phoenix. I mean, this whole. You don't get to. I don't know if too many rappers from out here. So he holding it down from out from out here for them right now, as far as our world. And he's a he's got a genre of rap that he 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 he's titled nerd rap. He created it. I mean, I don't know if he created, but I ain't never heard nobody say it before him and shit. You know what I'm saying? So maybe he did create it. It's his shit though. You know what I mean? I've 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 known I've known him for doing a lot of video game type of. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like video game beat, he coming up with video game type rap. You understand what I'm saying? And it's, and it's, it's a marriage that sounds fucking amazing and shit. More. Like a lot of I don't really shit. understand with that, but why don't we just bring him on ask him himself? Good, man. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to the people <clears throat> Monster Monday's next guest, the one, the only. <laughs> Yeah, go yeah. Yo, what's going on, sir? Welcome. What up, people? I think you, um, I think you might have got the dope uh, uh, intro so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was a dope intro. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, uh, just to, I mean, first of all, salute to everybody here. I know the work. I'm a huge fan of everybody here. Salute. And um, it's an honor to be to be here to chat with y'all. So, oh, um, like rant. you you heard us talking just now. I did. I heard nerd rap. I heard. Uh, did he create that? I'm gonna say no. I didn't. We could argue, and we could go further, f- far back into history, and say, <laughs> you know, guys like Delta Funky Homo Sapien, Ooh. like you know, like MF Doom, Ooh, like okay. maybe even uh, uh, Bismarck E or the Fresh Prince, those people like that, like cats who were making music. Ooh. That wasn't necessarily about that's into how, you know wasn't like about busting guns or robbing yeah, people. It wasn't. Yeah. It you wasn't like how right. tough they was. It was just about right. like how awkward they might have been. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the guy, so, um, like the guy who says, "I wish I was a little bit, a little taller. bit taller." I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I, okay, I like okay. that song. That's why. Like, I, I mean, it's, it's a classic. So yes, yes, like that. Um, so yeah, I, I would go that far back. But honestly, when I just I, I got an idea from. It was um, actually, y'all should know this well. It was from the Coco Brothers, uh, the song Super Brooklyn. Y'all remember that, right? You know what I'm saying? So when I heard the flip of the Mario theme, and um, and see, again, being a nerd, I was like, yo, who did that beat? And so it made me start looking up who produced this and how how that happened. So then I started like dabbling in beats, like, all right, I could flip a Mega Man beat, I could flip a Sonic beat. And so that's really, really where it started uh, uh, was like hearing those sounds and being like, yo, this is dope. And I never really heard anybody do it outside of like that track. Turns out that track was a part of a whole project with uh, Domingo, Game Over. Yeah. And uh, and it's got a whole list of like, like all my favorite cats doing like raps on video game beats. Uh, Master Ace is on there, Eminem, um, so many people like on video game flips. And right. so I, I remember on, on MySpace, I reached out to Domingo and I was like, yo, like you got any more of them video game beats around, you know, that kind of thing. So uh, so he did one for me, um, for a Mega Man flip. And we put it on my first project, which was called Mega Ran. And that's kind of where it began. Ooh, that was just like, dope. That's smart, dope. That's dope. You know? And so and Mega I liked Man. Mega Man because like the music was fire. And uh, it was a little blue dude. I love the color blue. And uh, <laughs> and it just Yo, had Mega real Man, dope music, dope. you know what I'm saying? So I, I love that. And Mega Man, if you remember the, the old games, they had this cool thing that I never seen. But when you when you playing the game and you pause it, the music keeps playing. Oh, 
Uh-huh. And it was one of the only games I saw that with. So like I get up, go, go fix a sandwich or, you know, go do take out the chores or whatever my mom had me do. And I could still hear the music. And so as I'm hearing it, I'm kind of humming, humming lyrics and, okay, and yeah, you know, and then I was like, yo, this is dope. So I didn't have um, like a big boom box at that time. So I had a little tape recorder and I sat it next to the TV and I would just record the beats from the Mega Man game. And uh, and then I would just kind of freestyle over them. And that was that was kind of how it started. But back then, like it didn't have a name. It wasn't it right. was just I was just rhyming. And uh, and then I discovered a cat by the name of MC Front a lot. Who was uh, who was living in Brooklyn and um, he's from the Bay Area, and he created a term called nerdcore hip hop, mm. and I was like, "Well, this is interesting. What is this all about?" And like, he was a guy who was, um, you know, like a hip hop head, who really loved hip hop, and also was a nerd. Like, he was like, "Yo, I worked in a, a tech support job for all my life, so my songs mm. are about that." But like, but I noticed the skill in it, and the and the flow and the funkiness, and I was like this is actually really dope yeah. so we wound up doing a couple shows together and everybody's like oh so mega ran is, is nerdcore and i was like i i guess you know so Hell yeah that's kind of how it was man. so ever yeah, since then dope. man no that that is dope because i have spent a lot of hours playing mega man a <laughs> that's lot what's up. trust me like and i remember like at that time we were still rhyming too on the side of course we was listening to wu-tang to boot camp you know everything and trying to write rhymes but like I would include a lot of like the video game references in the in the raps and a lot of the homies is like mm, i don't know bro like this, this they're gonna think you soft like you know what i mean because and i was <laughs> like Man, so basically this everybody was that this. came along that was tailor-made for you yeah pretty much i was like this is like a guy like it's for the like heads who was raised in hip-hop but also loved video games comic books anime kung fu like everything and we just put it together into this crazy like style and uh so we was like the nerd wu-tang sort of you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. around the block That's you know cute. you know what you and, just uh, made me di- help me discover was that? that i'm an undercover nerd man yo see yeah. see everything that what... you just said i do man yeah. like <laughs> Bro, I, ran see, like, I ran the streets though but i like all the stuff you like man. see like that's what i'm saying so uh, that's where like a lot of people get the word nerd like and they take it to mean something bad but like right. nerd just means you're passionate about something so yeah. basically it's me kind of reclaiming it being like well yeah you, you can call me a nerd that's cool that just means i'm passionate about it like i was passionate about basketball cards you know what i mean i could tell you Michael Jordan's points per game average <laughs> every year. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just knew stats like that. Mm-hmm. So like I could tell you the Jordan shoe for every year. Like I was nerdy about shoes. You know, so it just meant you're passionate. So you know that was just me kind of taking control of that because back in the day it was like, oh y'all the nerdy kids, y'all stay over here while we do this over here. You know, right. and um like like for the longest time I felt like hip hop wasn't gonna like welcome that. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, you get, like I said, guys like Doom, guys like Dell, like really kind of showed me that, oh, you can be into this. Aurel and them too, man. Yeah, yeah, Aurel too. NERD, absolutely. I'm the Rockness Monster. And I'm here to let you know that I'm on Cameo now. Are you familiar with Cameo? It's a website where you can reach out to some of your favorite celebrities and have them send you shout outs, personalized birthday wishes, wedding congratulations. You can even have them quit your job for you. And now I'm there. You can use the Cameo app or you can go on Cameo.com or the Cameo website. Find me there and make your request. We also have special requests for business. You know, if you want your mixtape dropped on or your album promote, any promotional things. Special pricing for that. See us there. Rockness Monster on Cameo. Rock on. For listening to Monster Mondays podcast, please join us every Monday from 8 to 10 p.m. West Coast time and 11 to 1 a.m. East Coast time every single Monday, Monster Monday on the Dash app. Also, check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family. Funny Farm, East New York Radio, All Elements Mix Show, The Star Power Collective, The Cosa Nostra Radio, 5150 Mix Show, Block News Live, Final Coffee Mix Show, and Hidden Gems. Check them all out under the delicious vinyl radio station.